Okay, so I'm going to just do a quick um, demo of some of the Biograph software features. So to start the program, we first double-click on the Biograph Infinity icon. And that will open the program up. So we get this screen here. Um, go quickly over these buttons here. So the application button doesn't really do anything except for give you the option to exit, which usually we wouldn't use that for um, that feature anyway. We would use the button over here on the right to, to exit. The start button allows you to do quick start, open display session, script session, and database. Again, I don't tend to start those functions in that way. I use the big buttons over on the right side of the screen. They're much easier to get to. Under Tools, you have your favorites, editors, and that's for editing or adding quick starts. You have your Description and Category Editor, Compact Flash Options, Event Marker, Labels, Event Type Settings, Z-Score, License, Management, and Preferences. So when I am introducing someone to using the software, the Biograph software, the first thing I usually do is have them go to uh, Quick Start. There are basically three ways to run the program. You have your Quick Start button on the right side here, this first button on the top. Then you have your Start Open Display Session and your Start Script Session. The two real ways of running the software are your Open Display Session and your Script Session. Quick Start is a shortcut way of doing either of those two things. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Quick Start. Click on Quick Start and you'll see here that you have options for selecting your client on the left side of the screen and on the right side of the screen you have your categories. So you would select a client name from the left side and then on the right side you want to select first your category which right now is set for physiology suite ProComp Infinity. I could also select Biograph 6 feature set or show all categories. If I select Biograph 6 feature set now the list here changes and those are only the quick starts or favorites that are under the Biograph 6 feature set. If I go back up here change it to Physiology Suite you'll see that only the favorites that are under Physiology Suite show. So here you have some choices. One EMG training, two EMG training, HRV or heart rate variability training, pulse transit time training, skin conductance training. Those would all be open display sessions where you're going to just have a set of screens that you can do your training or recording from and you're going to start and stop them manually. Those are considered open display sessions. You're starting and stopping manually and you are selecting your screen based on the presets in the favorite. The stress assessment is a different type of uh, session and that would be considered a script session. Script session is where things are more automated. So you see this says stress assessment 14 minute physiology suite BDP. So it's a 14 minute recording. The screens are all chosen for you. There are instructions that come up on the screen. And the timing is all set and so on. And the statistics that you would see at the end are all preset. So that's why it's called a script because it's already written and you're just basically following that script. 
Then you have temperature training here, which you get as open display session. So I'm not going to uh, select that. I just wanted to show you what the quick start looks like. I'm going to cancel that. Then you have your start open display session and you have your start script session. So for now, I'm not going to show either one of those. I'm going to go to a database. If I click on database, this is a way that you can either select the session that you've already run or you can um, look at data that has uh, already been recorded. So I'm going to just select a uh, session that I ran with myself. So I put my I select my name and then on the right side of the screen I select the date and time. Now I can do a couple of things. One, I can do a review report and I can look at what the data, uh, the results of the session were. So here I have screen selected. I can click OK. And this is going to give me a graph. Once it collects or reads in the data, gives me a graph showing the data that was recorded. So I can see a summary of that session in that way. I'm going to close that. Another thing I can do in the database is it's, instead of doing review report, I can do replay session. If I do replay session, now I can not only just look at the data as it was recorded, but I can play it back so it looks just like it did during the recording. So this is not a live session now, but this is just playing back data from the time that I recorded it. So this can be useful for just practicing with the software, demonstrations without having to hook someone up, or just replaying it for a client so that they uh, can see what was happening during the session. And you can just review that with them. Sometimes you might be working eyes closed and they didn't see what was going on as it was happening and it's a way that they can see it. Other times you just want to point things out to them that was happening during the session. Okay, so I'm just going to close that now. Well, actually, before I do that, I just want to show you a couple other things. So here on the, uh, the Y scale here, you see it's 0 to 20. That's 0 to 20 microvolts. And you might notice that there were times that the reading was going off scale when it went higher than 20, so you couldn't see it. So what I can do is I can change the maximum. See at the top of the screen here, you have 0 for minimum and 20 for maximum. I can go up to where the maximum is, and I can either use these arrows to increase the maximum, or I can just highlight the number that's in there. And I'm just going to change it to 30, and then I click in the graph again, and now I have 0 to 30, so I can see a much higher reading on the same screen. Another thing you can do is change the x-axis, which is the time. Right now it's set to 30 seconds. If I click on this arrow at the top where it says 30 seconds, I can change it to 5 seconds. And now you can see the tracing goes across much faster. So the whole uh, x-axis is 5 seconds. That's probably too fast for most purposes. I can go down here and change it to two minutes, and that makes it slower. And for some things, that might be good. Other things, it might be too slow, because now the reading, the line graph is, is very compressed, and when you're seeing the changes up and down, it's sort of smushed together, so it makes it a little bit hard to, harder to see it. But you can fit more time within the, in one screen, so it's a trade-off. I usually use either a 30 second or a one minute setting for this. Okay, so those are some of the things I wanted to show you. You can also pause and that stops the line graph. We can unpause and it will continue. So I'm just going to stop at this point. We'll close this screen and we'll exit the software and I'm going to just stop uh, this for now, and uh, we'll continue in another session.